Buenos dias, good morning, my name is Stephen Bueno, welcome to my expat life. And for today's video, I know medyo matagal na nung huling vlog ko. Miss na miss. Miss na miss mo. Sige, miss na miss mo na naman. Rupok mo eh, no? <laughs> well, anyway, for today's video, what we're going to do is a Japanese-style curry. But before we start cooking, yes, I do the cooking. I also do the cleaning. I just want to say, I hope you're all doing great. Staying at the comfort of your home. And sana you're together with your family also, your loved ones. Unlike me, I'm currently here abroad. And it's really hard to be away from your family at this time. But what can I say? I mean, there are a lot of things that you could do. Be productive, like me, ako, I've been cooking, I've been doing a lot of pastries, dishes. Try lang na try, uh, make yourself productive. This will just be a very quick video. I actually prepared all my ingredients right now. I just want to say thank you to Meg Pascual and to Kate Buen Viaje for letting me know their recipe or their take on how to make a Japanese curry. We only need 10 ingredients, breadcrumbs, eggs, flour, onions, garlic, carrots, shaved apples, potatoes, chicken breasts, and of course, your curry powder. Start buksan ang kalan. Tapos, maglagay ng mantika. Siguro mga dalawa. And then, ilagay ang garlic. Isute ito bago masunog. Tapos, ilagay mo na rin yung mga onions. So, tay lang ulit. Make sure na maluto sila. And then, after that, ilagay na ang carrots. Carrots muna kasi orange. And then, ang potatoes. Potatoes kasi yellow. Base sa rainbow, maunang orange kesa sa yellow. And then, ilagay na rin ang shaved apples. Actually, hindi ko sure para saan to, Pero parang meron siyang tamis na idadagdag sa ating curry. And then, ilagay na rin ang curry powder. Tansyay mo na lang kung gano'ng kadami kasi ako gusto ko medyo spicy. Because of that, lalagyan ko rin ng konting spice powder. Lagyan na rin ng tubig mga 4 cups of water. Pakuluan, takpan. Habang ginagawa mo yun, i-coat mo na yung chicken breast mo. Kanayin ng flour, ilagay sa egg. Tapos, i-coat mo na rin ng breadcrumbs. Gawin mo lang ito sa lahat ng chicken breast na gagawin mo. Up to you kung gaano kadami, kung ilan kayo sa bahay. Tapos balikan mo yung iniwan mo, lagyan mo ng konting cornstarch para lumapot. Then fry the chicken breast na kinoot mo. Make sure na both sides are well cooked. Yan. Until golden brown, evenly fried, ganyan ang kakalabasan. O tara, let's go to the plating. First, lagay mo muna yung mga kanin. E, depende mo sa kasama kung gaano kadami. Once na lagay mo na lahat ng kanin, isunod mo naman yung curry. Ayan, lagyan natin ng slow-mo para kunwari sobrang sarap. Once na nalagay na lahat ng curry, top it with your chicken katsu. And that's it for our today's video. Again, thank you for watching. Please enjoy my Japanese curry with chicken katsu on top. Everyone who's enjoying their time with their family, I hope we're all doing great. See you soon after this pandemic. Okay.